Alright guys, welcome to Fragments Revisited Part 1 of Android. So, we're just going to create a new project anyway here. So, file new Android application project and we're going to give this project name. Application, we're just going to call it Fragments uh, Tutorial. And then com.example. So, we're we'll just putting com.tw. Common not twisted equations, okay? So we're gonna just go with the uh, recommended SDKs, compile all the themes, uh, create a custom launcher icon, I don't really need that. Create activity, create a project in workspace. We'll just leave this here as usual. We're just very quickly setting this up. Yeah, we're gonna build this master detail flow, okay? But this requires a min version of, of at least 11 and our current min version is 8 or settings activity. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, we'll build this ourselves okay. So that's what we're going to go for. And yep I'm actually going to alter this to, to call this main activity because I just like it like that. Okay navigation type tabs. I like the way they do that tab swipe and title title strip. But you can always customize these things at a later date. So here's our new fragment tutorial. Wazam. And as usual, it gives us our start off view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you guys a little bit of data. I'm going to provide you guys a text file and an XML file. And these files are uh, resources that you're going to need for this tutorial. So we're going to go into our values here. We're going to create a new XML file. And we're just going to call this string arrays. Okay. Next, I generally like to separate out. I could put the string array in here or even in styles, but I just like having it under string arrays. So we're going to create a new string array. Done. And we're going to call this um, elements array. Okay. And done. So if we click save, it's going to bring in our elements array and our string array here. So we're going to return this to the next line and we're going to put in our first item okay so our first item is of course hydrogen so we have to put in the name hydrogen let's call hydrogen h-i-d-r-o-g-e-n I'm, I'm studying chemistry and I can't spell hydrogen now if we were to do this for all the elements it would be 118 elements it would take us for fecking ever so what I've done is I've actually come up with a little Excel file here. This all looks like gibberish, okay? Um, you probably can't see it, but all I have here is all the element details. And over here you'll notice I have all of the elements of the periodic table. So I used my, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this before, but I simply put uh, the tags in their own fields and then I just used a concatenation function in Excel to conca conca concatenate the name which allows me just to copy and paste all the elements down along into the Excel file or into this file. Now I'll provide you guys with this file, this string array um, or this XML file and the actual just this text itself so if you can copy and paste it in yourself um, in the future sometime. I'll provide it with this video. It'll probably be a link either to my Google Drive, a file there or a link to Mega. As you can see, it's actually getting a little bit choppy. The uh, resources, you know, it's a, it's a lot of lot of text here. So let's create another string array, an even bigger one. And uh, we're going to just set up another string array. So we're going to go back to our resources here, and we're going to say elements inf info array, and we're going to click. Oh no, hang on. We need to add an element. Oh no, hang on. What, what am I doing? No. Nope. Don't want to do that. Okay, what we'll do? We'll just add the string array manually. We'll do it like this. Name equals elements info array. And now I've provided. I'm going to provide again another giant uh, array. 
and I don't think you can see this or if I don't zoom the video over essentially what I have is I have is a giant list of elements all this data here about the elements their melting point their boiling point their symbol their atomic numbers percentage earth crust density ground state ionization energy electronegativity they're all separated not by commas and in, like a CSV format but they're actually separated by the slash n function naturally enough because that's new line and we're going to use that later on so we're just going to copy and paste this giant whoops ginormous list of elements boom into there and as you can see we have all the information detail about the elements in our array so these are two 118 item arrays ready to go so we'll exit with that guys and we'll start off by just setting up our first um, activity now yeah so we have our first activity here okay ready to go so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to um, make a little change to my plans here uh, in the next video I'm going to go over fragment life cycles okay because that's a very important thing but you know we're going to leave this here we're going to leave this just setting up the fragments project and the next video we're going to go over the uh, fragment uh, life cycle and then we're going to start working on the rest of it okay